Good afternoon. Today is the 8th of November and it's time for yet another not particularly interesting, very vague and certainly quite boring vlog. Something that people have asked me recently is what we're going to do now we've got two older cars uh, on the fleet and uh, before I answer that I must uh, inform you that um, people on the Rover 45 V6 and Seat Toledo tiers of channel membership do get early video access um, and uh, you see these very vague vlogs pretty much the day that they are recorded those of you on other channel membership tiers get to see a lot of early videos but not necessarily these everyone else this video has <laughs> Um, been recorded several weeks in advance. In fact, as of the day of recording this, this car has not actually been revealed to the channel yet at all. Um, today will be the day when the second video in the in the series about have I, have I bought a car for the first time in two and a half years uh, will be going live, where actually you do get a very brief glance of this car, um, but you don't actually know if I bought it or not. Um, that actually comes next week, so uh, we are quite a way sort of down in terms of the series. <laughs> We're about four, I don't know four weeks in advance or something like that, and that's the way that it goes with these. Um, if you uh, want to see them earlier, then there's your sort of option. Um, you can do it or, or not. You know, you can not even watch this video if you want. I don't really mind. It's totally up to you. But something that's um, come to my attention and just the, the few people who do know that this car exists and actually is in my ownership is what we're going to do now we've got the Vis and the Rover. I'm just going to uh, go and put some super unleaded in this because it, it, that's what it takes actually. Um, so uh, I'll go and do that, put some super unleaded in this. I need to get this up to Mr Coleman, the rubbish mechanic. Um, he's going to be doing a cam belt on this, this uh, weekend and then we will discuss that a little bit further. So about 20 litres of uh, super unleaded or £1.85 a litre. Excellent yes this car takes super unleaded. You can put normal E10 in this it's not a problem um, but you might damage the turbo which would be great because the turbo one of these is about the same value as the car. <laughs> so what is it we plan to do? Do we plan to uh, keep this one and get rid of the Rover or, or is it this is a temporary car? Well we're actually going to keep both of these cars. Um, a lot of you like the Rover, we've had it you know two and a half years, have the Sanyon about the same time and then actually the decision to get a, an additional car has been one that I spent months doing. I first was fully aware of it back in May when I made one of these very vague vlogs and a friend of mine alerted me to the presence of an old Volvo that uh, was at the um, house of a, of a lady that she was looking after. Now that car didn't actually work out. I spent an awfully long time waiting to see what would happen with that. In fact, I spent about five months waiting to see what happened with that. And in that time, I was able to save up, you know, sufficient sufficient money um, to be able to do things like saying, well, we can afford a car, we know what the budget is, we know how much, you know, we can buy some insurance. Um, those of you who've seen the previous very, very vlog, actually, you know, we, we didn't buy classic insurance in the end because it was cheaper to buy normal insurance. And so that's what I did. I bought some normal insurance. Um, which uh, was the cheaper thing to do and you know it's still on a business policy so if I really want to and I don't see me do this too much I can do jobs for clients in this car. Um, I have a, a limited mileage policy by 3,000 miles so I shouldn't do so many of them. It's made to cover me if I kind of go to shows and things like that um, or I'm doing filming um, and I can just do filming it's not a problem it's all covered um, and if I you know want to do a job for a client, bearing in mind this car is not ultra low vision zone compliant um, because it's a 1998, um, then I can do that as well, which is good. Um, 
and uh, you know it's a, it's a bit of fun. A friend of mine actually has been borrowing this car for the past um, week or so whilst his car um, had been scrapped and he had to wait to get a new one. So he's been looking after this for me and he's enjoyed it. Um, probably not as much as I'm enjoying it, but he's enjoyed it nevertheless, so that's fine. So yeah, it's a, it's a nice fast car. It's actually faster than the, than the Rover is. It's not a surprise with 237 horsepower. But if you slip this into the economy mode, you don't really feel that. It doesn't feel any more powerful than just a normal two litre 20 valve 850. It really doesn't feel any more powerful. It's only when you put it in sport mode and then go a bit crazy, but I can do that, and Mr. Coleman's recommended that I do that. Once the cam belt's done, um, that's a sensible thing to do, and then we've got stacks and stacks of other channels who want to film this, and Miss Richardson, the Furious Drive, is probably going to be the first one. Then we've got loads and loads of others. Um, Fuel Power want to do it. Um, Paul from Project Nigel wants to do it. Um, Alex from Alex's Assets wants to do it. I'm going to try to meet up with Mr. Hunter from Jeff Buys Cars. Um, he's quite interesting. He's had two C70s of this generation, so he's quite a good person to have us. So we've got stacks and stacks of other channels who want to film this now. And I'm not surprised that I this thinks is a lovely car. I can't believe this costs less than £1,400 with auction fees. And you can pick up a C70 in the first generation, probably a Cabrio, because they're a bit cheaper than the coupes. I think I imagine just because they made them for a bit longer and there are more of them around, you can pick one easily up for less than £1,000. Um, there are issues with them. We've covered that in the review. I'll put the exact description below. But... Um, I think uh, by the time that this video goes public on the channel as opposed to just to the members and things, um, then that video will also have, have gone live, I should think, by now. So uh, that should be okay. You can watch you know, more detail about this, because this is in the rear of this car. This is just uh, me enjoying myself and thinking, well, we're going to keep both of them. And we'll still have the Mercedes and the Sanyon. So we'll have lots of choice. Well, anyone who hasn't driven this yet, um, the turning circles, a bit rubbish and you know it's a big car and the visibility is not really the best in this so I'm gonna to have to get some parking sensors fitted I will actually get the type that um, that you uh, just kind of put on the number plates around I'm not I'm not going to I'm not going to get ones to cut the, the bumper the bumper of this car is not in actually that great condition it's a bit cracked and things so I could get them, but it's going to be easier just to do that. And it'll make the car looking a lot more original. People won't even notice it's got parking sensors. Um, I could fit a camera if I get really get really desperate, but I'm going to just see just with those parking sensors first. I think it's more original to the car because cars did start to get parking sensors around sort of early to mid 90s. So it's not, you know, a really kind of a sort of um, original looking thing anyway. But yes, that's it. Um, there's not really much in the way of content in this vlog, which means it's still as vague as ever. Um, but a lot of you seem to like that. I've had sort of people say that they really like the very vague vlogs. Uh, some people love no budget reviews, some people love slightly shambolic shuffles, and some people love two jacket reviews, sensible second hand reviews, sensible second hand classics. Um, you know, everybody likes different things, and that's absolutely fine. Uh, so, yes, I'm going to film the GT. Um, suspension in this car as well because it is a little bit stiffer than the standard ones and a lot of people say that it does improve the handling um, it's probably right I, I do have another C70 at least probably two more C70s the first generation that I've been offered for review thanks to the C70 um, first generation um, owners group on Facebook uh, so you know, we'll, we'll try one with a different engine, we'll try one with without the sort of GT suspension, um, standard one, and we'll, um, we'll see how that goes. And I hope you also enjoy discovering this wonderful world of uh, the Volvo P80 platform with me. So thank you ever so much indeed once again for watching. Don't forget that uh, you can get early video access on any membership tier, but the very vague logs, um, 
you get early access on the set to Lado and Row 45 V6 um, membership tiers, or just don't become a channel member at all. I don't really mind. I much prefer you just, uh, you know, enjoy the videos. And um, the be best thing you can do is like them, subscribe to the channel if you've already done so, and watch them all the way through. That really helps without you having to pay a penny. So thank you ever so much indeed once again. Lloyd Vehicle Consulting stickers, t-shirts and mugs are available by clicking the link to the Google form in the video description below.